Hi, in this video, we're going to be doing a problem from a textbook called Integral Calculus. And this was published in 1917 by H.B. Phillips. Okay, and this is uh, an integral. So we have the indefinite integral of 2x minus 1 and dx. It's all being divided by the square root of 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. So I would say that this is a harder um, calculus integral. So if you are studying calculus, maybe calculus 2, um, then maybe you could do this problem. Uh, maybe not. It's still considered very, very challenging for, you know, most students would have a hard time with this. So because we have an x here to the first power, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this piece here u. It's going to be my first step. So we'll let u be what's inside the square root. So u is 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. And just as a disclaimer, I'm going to go a little bit fast. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit fast and I'm just going to do it. So du, taking the derivative, it's going to be 8x plus 4, right, just using the power rule, uh, dx. So this means something really important. This means that if instead of 2x minus 1 dx, we had this, we can work this out because it would be du over the square root of u and it would be a very easy integral. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna write the original integral again. Okay, and this is the square root of 4x squared plus 4x plus two. And basically I'm just gonna put this here because that's what I want. So you write down what you want and you fix it later. This is a reoccurring idea. Okay, and then over here we have the square root of 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. So this is obviously not true, right? This is not equal. It would be much easier for me to think about this problem if this was a 2x though, because I have a 2x here, because we want to make them equal. That's the goal, right? So I'm going to put a 1 fourth here. So now what we really have here is we really have 2x plus 1. That's really what we have here, right? Because I put a 1 fourth here. So now I'm saying that this integral is equal to 2x plus 1 over this. Say, so why would I do that? Because this is what I want, because I can integrate this, and now I need to figure out how to make these equal. So step one is to make the x's match. So I did that simply by putting the 1 fourth there. The next step is to make this equal to this. So you ask, how do you get from 2x plus 1 to 2x minus 1? Well, you subtract 2. So you have dx over the square root of 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. And again, how do you get from 2x plus 1 to 2x minus 1? You subtract 2, right? Because 2x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to simply 2x minus 1. Boom. Magic. This here is interesting, and it looks like we should try to complete the square. And if you think about it, if you think about it, if you look at 2x plus 1 squared, that's equal to 4x squared, right? You square the first one, multiply these and double them, so 2x times 2 is 4x plus 1. So we're missing a one here, so that's almost this. So watch this. This is equal to one fourth. I'm gonna go ahead and use my original substitution here. This is going to be du. Okay, so this will be du over the square root of u. That's a u, not a v. Minus, and then here, uh, maybe I should do the step over here so I can save some time. I'm gonna take this and watch this. We're gonna write it like this, dx over square root. 2x plus 1 squared plus 1. You see that? Because that, if you add 1 to this, I get this. So this is 2x plus 1 squared plus 1, so it's this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a substitution here. I'm going to call this w. So dw is 2dx. So then um, basically now I'm going to divide by 2. So we have 1 half dw is equal to dx. So this is going to be minus 2 times 1 half, okay? And because there's a 2 here, so that's the 2, and then the 1 half is going to go out here, okay? And then dx is 1 half dw, so the 1 half goes there, and this will be dw over, and then this is w squared plus 1. A little bit confusing, but again, just working through this, I thought I would just film this, and maybe someone in the world um, is working on problems like this. Um, 
So for this one here, I'm gonna bring it up. This is really u to the one half. When you bring it up, the exponent becomes negative. So this is u to the negative one half du. And then for this one here, I'm gonna use a formula. This is a formula that is supplied in the book by Robbins. So this is something that Robbins uh, gives um, the readers. He says that if you have um, the integral of du over the square root of u squared plus or minus a squared, that's equal to the natural log of u plus square root u squared plus or minus a squared. And this is given uh, in the textbook by Robbins, again, 1917 Phillips, without, uh, without proof. It's given near the beginning of the book. So we're gonna apply that here, okay? So it's gonna be minus, okay, it's gonna be minus ln, and I'm just gonna use w for now. So it's gonna be w, okay, plus square root w squared plus a squared, a is one, right? Okay, this is one squared, so a is one plus c, okay? Continuing this way, we're gonna add one to integrate this, add to, one to the exponent, so it'll be one fourth, you add one to that, so it's u to the one half. When you divide by one half, you multiply by two. Minus ln, w is two x plus one, plus square root, and this is two x plus one squared, plus one. I know I'm going fast, but I thought, why not? U is up here, right? That's from, that's from the past, right? So u is with that original substitution, so now I'm gonna put that here. So it will be the square root of um, 4x squared plus 4x plus 2 minus the natural log of, and then we have um, 2x plus 1 plus, and then we have the square root. We know what this is. It's the same thing as this. So 4x squared plus 4x plus 2 and then plus c. And that should be... Uh, the answer um, for this problem. So I went through it kind of quickly, uh, but that's the idea. I, and again, this is from a very old book, over a hundred years old, right? Integral Calculus 1917 by H.B. Uh, H.B. Phillips. So yeah, kind of cool. And um, this formula, this formula, let me show you where it's given in the book, just to show you that it is given. I have the book here. Here's the book by Robbins, and the formula is given. I saw it somewhere in the book. I know it's here. <laughs> I, I, I'm doing this problem for the first time. And anyways, it's in the book somewhere, and he gives it to us at the beginning or near the beginning of the book. Can't quite find it. Wow, integral calculus, let's see. So integration. He's got uh, some formulas here, very basic formula, so it's obviously not gonna be there. Motion of a particle, curves of the given slope, separation of variables, those are DEs. Ah, here it is. So here it is, formulas and methods of integration, chapter two. So here he gives that formula, which I used um, here. So uh, to, do, to do that, that second integral. I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world who is learning some calculus. Good luck.